Welcome back to 6 News at 5. Time to take a look at your weather. Starting off with a live look across Temple, and you can see basically what we've been seeing all day. Blue skies, maybe a few clouds well off in the distance, but abundantly blue skies out there today. Did start off right around 50 degrees, 49 actually in Temple, but we've been able to really warm up this afternoon. 86 right now in Temple. You can see northeast winds a little bit breezy, but those northeast winds, that's that's the story because they came in, dried us out, really removed a lot of the humidity, and because of that, take a look, 21% humidity out there it is very comfortable. It is a dry 86 out there. In fact, we have a little bit of a wind chill in the air. It feels like 83 right now across Temple. As for the rest of the area, most of us making it up to close to 90 degrees. Our Western County staying just a little bit cooler this afternoon, mid 80s there, but a lot of us did get up close to 90 degrees this afternoon and the winds continue to be the reason why we've had such good fortune in the weather today. Take a look here. Most of us right around 5 to 10, so not terribly strong, not dealing with the really strong breezes we had like we had over the weekend, but we are dealing with that 5 to 10 mile an hour north wind and that is keeping everything dried out for us out there across the area. Because of that, we do have another cool morning in store for us tomorrow. Won't be quite as cool as it was this morning. Don't have any 40s on the board as we head towards your Tuesday morning, but hey, most of us dropping back below uh, 60 degrees for a second day in a row. Things are going to change for us though as we head through the rest of the week. Let's talk about why. So our wind has been what has been our weather maker this week. You can see the north wind still in the forecast here as we head through the rest of the week. Now as we get towards Wednesday, I'm going to stop it here and yeah, I know we still have those north winds, but now we're seeing the influence of what is right now a tropical storm. What will very soon likely be Hurricane Francine that is still controlling our winds. You can see that counterclockwise spin in the atmosphere as Francine does push off to our east. That could kick up winds here 15 to 20 miles per hour as we through the day on the Wednesday. So that's what we're watching for with that. After that, though, things do calm down. But now the reason I wanted to show you this particular forecast model is because by the time we get to the second half of the week. Notice our wind direction. Yeah, it's back out of the south. Now you know that does mean that'll bring in more moisture, more humidity, so those uh, heat index values could return as we head towards the end of the week. But the big story is as we get more moisture in the atmosphere, that does take away those very, very cool mornings. As you can see by Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and so on, things do start to ramp back up. Upper 60s, lower 70s for those overnight lows as we head towards the end of the week. Now, speaking of Francine, do you want to talk about that real quick? Right now you can see where uh, Francine is. It is uh, it's located just to the east of Mexico, but it's going to continue to move off to the north northeast as it does. So over the next couple of days could become a category two hurricane as it heads up towards Houston, then on up towards Jackson before it starts to uh, kind of lose its fuel as it hits the uh, mainland United States. So what does that mean for us? Well, you can see uh, the hurricane will start making its way up the coast. will start to impact Houston as we head towards late Tuesday and into Wednesday. As far as we are concerned, limited impacts. Take a look. I showed you the breezy conditions earlier, but as far as rain goes, might get a few showers Wednesday afternoon. They'll be widely scattered, isolated across the area, so that's really all we're going to get. Not a whole lot in terms of moisture from Francine as it does slide a little bit too far to the east to really be of much use to us, unfortunately. If we see anything, it's going to be a trace to a quarter of an inch, and it's all going to primarily be east of I-35. For your seven-day forecast, again, once we get a little more humidity in the forecast, we're going to keep those after afternoon temperatures a little more consistent. Unfortunately, though, those morning lows do start to ramp back up into the lower 70s as we head into, towards the weekend. Don't have any rain chances for you for Saturday and Sunday, but we could be bringing them back as we head into next week. Yeah.